Hello everyone. Today uh, we're going to learn uh, chapter three. Uh, chapter three will be divided into three parts. So for today we're going to um, at least try to to complete um, a certain part of chapter three point one. Okay. So in this uh, chapter you will learn about all of this um, for me uh, I prefer to explain the what all of this means in uh, its designated slides okay so um in in this chapter we you will learn more into depth about tangent line and rate of change i'm sure you have come across into into this um kind of information before but in this chapter we're going to learn into depth okay first uh, what is a second line? Second line is a straight line joining two points of a function. Okay, so here you can see second line is the red one here. Two points which is at point A and point A plus H. It is a line that joining two points of of a function it is also uh, can be known as average rate of change or simply the slope between two points so this is uh, its other name average uh, other name for second line which is average rate of change or slope okay for slope how to find slope uh, is by uh, using this equation which is f a plus h minus f a plus uh, over h okay how can we get this um, equation i will show it to you now oh sorry okay okay let's see uh, let name here a here is P1 and this one here is P2. Okay, so for P1 is A and FA. Okay, similar FA is, uh, is also known as Y or FX. You have come across this before, but since we are uh, concentrating into A, so we use FA instead of FX. So for P2, it should be an FA plus H. Okay, P1 can also be known as what guys? x1 and y1 and p2 is x2 and y2 so to find m or slope for this okay yeah or i'm sure you have learned this in secondary school before so to find m is y2 minus y1 or over x2 minus x1 okay this can also be written as f a plus h minus f a y1 over a plus h x2 minus what is x1 a 
so now you know where uh, it, it got this H here okay class so for tangent line um, okay tangent line use basically the same equation except with the addition of this limit function okay the equation for tangent line is the same as second line but it has the addition of limit function here so you can either use h uh, limit h as it approaches zero or as uh, or use limit as x approaches a depending on the question okay first uh, let we uh, recap what is a tangent line tangent line is a straight line that touches a function at only one point straight line that touches a function at only one point so the point here is a only one point whereas for second line it it uh, does um, it is a straight line that joining two points so i hope you can uh, differentiate what is second line and tangent line tangent line tangent line can also be known as the instantaneous rate of change i'm not sure whether you can see this or not but tangent line can also be known as instantaneous rate of change okay so now let's move on to the next slide okay so the dotted green line here is the second line what is the second line again it is a straight line that uh, join two dots on a function so for this first line here it is it join a function i'm uh, sorry um okay it join point p p and what class and q1 so for l2 p and l2 2 pn q2 pn q2 okay um so for this line it might look like uh q3 share the same line but it's not it is just p and q2 so for l3 it is p and q3 okay so sorry okay so the length between p and q1 is h plus x plus h1 uh, q2 is x plus h2 and qt is x plus h3 so from this line this red line is what guys it is a tangent line so for this tangent line um which point touches it it is just p we are just uh, looking at p so it is only one point okay so now let's look at the examples okay okay so let's look at the first question let y x y equals to x square plus one so first question asks us to find the average rate of change average rate of change of y with respect to x over the interval 3 to 5 so what does it mean here the, sorry 
Okay, the interval 3 to 5 is the, the domain of domain the value of y that you must find in the domain of x between 3 and 5. Okay, that what is what it means by the interval. You must find uh, the value of y in between x uh, value 3 to 5. Okay, so first find y1 when x equal to 3. So y1 is x square plus 1. So 3 square plus 1 is 10. And now we try to find y2 when x equal to 5. 5 square plus 1 is 26. Okay. Okay, so now we have two points, which is what class? Can anyone guess? 3, when x is 3, y is 10, and 5 and 26. Twenty six. So this enable us to find the uh, average of change. Okay. Only now can we calculate the average of change. Average of change can also be known as what? Class average of change is M. Okay. Or slope. So how to find it? M is y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. So it should be 26 minus 10. I don't know what happened here. Okay. Let me try to do it here. Okay. 26 minus 10 and... 5 minus 3, you get 16 over 2. And then you get the final answer should be A. Okay. So now let's look at um, question 1B. Okay. So for question 1B, uh, this question wants us to find the instantaneous instantaneous rate of change instantaneous means what class it means tangent line okay so uh, we want to find the tangent line when x is equal to negative false so let's draw the graph here the graph is hit at, um x square plus 1 so it is a parabolic parabola gra uh, grant okay and we are trying to find the value when the value at this point when x equal to minus 4 so we want to find the uh, the value of the point when uh, the curve x square plus 1 touches uh, uh, when x is negative 4. Okay, so how to find it? Let's look at the... Okay, so now we must use either this equation or this. So which one should we use? Since we know since, uh, the value of uh, x is negative 4 so we should use this instead of this one because this is as h approaches 
0. Okay, so we're going to use this equation. So let's go back to here. And then, let's see, let's try it here. So limit as x approaches what class? Negative 4. And then fx minus fa, right? Let's see, fx minus fa over x minus a, kan? So, sorry. Okay. Okay, f a is f negative 4 over x minus a x minus negative 4 so we do it on the side here what is f negative 4 it uh okay remember again x is x square plus 1 so in this case it should be negative 4 square plus 1 and you will get 17 okay so limit 4 and x square plus 1 sorry um, I can do it here so okay so we're going to do it here x square plus 1 minus 17 and then x plus 4 okay if we try to substitute negative 4 here at this point you will get 0 over 0 so uh, this, uh, this is unacceptable in the limit world so you have to manipulate this equation so the answer won't be 0 over 0 so how to manipulate it okay now uh, you can um, do the algorithm here so uh, minus uh, 17 plus 1 is minus 16 so x square minus 16 and x plus 4 so now as you see this equation can you manipulate it of course you can so x and x plus 4 okay so now the equation should be x minus x minus 4 so now you can substitute x with minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 sorry i don't know what happened okay and then you will get minus 8 so this is the final answer for question 1b so now we're going to find the answer for question 1c so for uh, question 1c uh, it want us to find the instantaneous rate of change of y with respect to x at the general point corresponding to x equal to x naught I don't know whether you can see this or not. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Okay, class. So now let's try to find uh, question 1C. Okay, instantaneous rate of change of Y with respect to X at general point corresponding to x equal to x naught so for this kind of question um sorry okay class 
So we have to look back. Uh, what the original question uh, here is let what y equal to x square plus one, which y can also be known as f x. So for f x node, what can we do to manipulate it? Just uh, substitute x with x not so x not square plus one. Instantaneous rate of change, you must use the uh, equation uh, to find m but include the limit. Okay, so the limit here is from as x approaches x node. Okay, so fx minus fx node over x minus x node okay okay so now we do it here we continue here at limit x as it approaches x node so fx is x square plus 1 minus x not square plus y over x minus x not okay so now what will become of this equation and then this will be x square plus 1 minus x not square minus 1 so 1 minus 1 and then you will get it like this okay so now x square minus x not square over x minus x not okay if we substitute x not right away we will get uh institute x not into x right away we will got x not square minus x not square x not minus x not it will be zero over zero so uh when this situation happens we must use the l'hopital rule if you remember L'Hopital rule, which uh, we have learned in chapter 2. Okay, you might want to uh, go back to chapter 2 in this uh, particular part, L'Hopital rule. Uh, when can we use it? And uh, to refresh your memory. So, when it is 0 over 0, we can use the Lopita roll. Okay. Uh, in sorry. Okay. In Lopita rule. Okay. So, in Lopita rule, we um, must uh, derivate uh, differentiate. Sorry. We must only differentiate um, on uh, the value of an element that contains x. So for in for this instance, the uh, s not is not considered as x. Okay, so in this uh, part, it is only here that we must consider to differentiate. So, it should be 2x over 1. Okay. Now, only can you put in the value of x naught. So, the final answer is 2x naught. 2x naught. Okay. So, m is 2x naught. Okay. Okay, so now let's look at the final uh, question 1D. 
we're going to focus on uh, question 2 actually okay so for question D find the slope of the graph at the point 2 and 5 and use it to find the equation of the tangent line to uh, this at x equal to 2 so now you know x uh, this at the, at the okay here we we have learned okay this is a general point corresponding to x2 x0 so here we can declare 2 5 is any general point in y equal to x square plus 1 so it should be x node and y node okay so to find uh, the slope here is easy since we have uh, used the uh, to calculate it here so 2x node is 2 times 2 is 4 okay so now let I'm going to okay so this is the okay this is y and now we're going to find it when it is at x equal to 2 okay so how to find the slope okay the uh, equation for straight line is this okay equal to m x minus x1 okay remember guys so y 5 and x okay so this is the final answer okay if you have any trouble understanding any parts in uh, of my lecture you can always ask me and yeah okay bye guys